Yo, what's going on guys? Troy here, Superhuman You, and got a really interesting video today. And this was something that actually fascinated me back when I was in high school, because I always wondered why some guys had that really prominent bicep vein and some people didn't. A lot of people think it's genetic, and it's actually not. Everybody has the bicep vein. It's called the cephalic vein. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys the four-step blueprint on how to basically make the cephalic bicep vein prominent 24 hours a day. So we're going to get into seven unique bicep exercises, a little sodium, potassium, and water trick, as well as what your pre-workout should contain, as well as ideal body fat. You ain't got no gains. You ain't got no weights. <laughs> So just looking at the basic human anatomy, if you look at the vein structure, we have what's called superficial veins, which are very close to the surface. And then we also have these deep veins. So the cephalic bicep vein is called a superficial vein. So it's visible beneath the skin. So if you don't have it, what means is you have two things going on. A, you either don't have enough bicep mass to push that vein to the surface, or B, you don't have low enough body fat, or actually I'll say three things. You might have a lot of fluid and water beneath, uh, between the skin and the muscle. So we're going to teach you a little sodium potassium water trick. But everybody has this vein. It is a superficial vein. Hey, make sure you subscribe because every single day we have a new video on shredding and aesthetics and sometimes just straight up entertainment. So subscribe, hit that notification bell so YouTube will blow up your inbox and let you know it is time to get shredded. And if you do that, we will send you a ferocious little baby lion straight to your house. So step one, we're going to get into the best type of bicep training to bring out the bicep vein. And this is going to be a combination of brachialis training and bicep peak training. So the brachialis actually sits under your bicep. And the more developed that your brachialis gets, it's going to push the bicep further out and push that cephalic vein right to the surface. And then also the bicep peak is going to be the shorter head of the bicep. That's basically what gives the bicep its height. So a combination of the brachialis and bicep peak training is going to be your best bet. So I'm going to dive into seven really unique exercises that are going to put maximum focus and tension right on the brachialis and bicep peak. Troy. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no so the first exercise is Zotman curls with brachialis emphasis. So putting the palms down and putting the biceps in a weak position is going to stretch the brachialis. So this is a great combination of palms down eccentric as you can see with the Zotman curls, constant rotating of the wrist, so your palms are down on both the concentric and eccentric portion of the repetitions. And then also we have the bi we have the dumbbells very close, so we're able to work the bicep peak with a close grip. So great combination of brachialis and bicep peak. This next one is more of a mass builder, so this is an interesting one. Smith machine half drags, almost a cross between a half barbell curl and a drag curl, but doing that on the Smith machine you really are, are able to uh, get into that deep mind-muscle connection and put just constant tension right on your biceps. Then also for the last like four to six reps when you're fatigued, try moving your hands a lot closer to focus on more of the bicep peaks. So this is a great bicep shaper that should push that vein to the surface. Next up we have the brachialis dumbbell twist. So once again, just rotating the wrists and putting the palms down, putting the biceps in a weak position. This one is really good to do when you're already fatigued. So when your biceps and brachialis are already fatigued, kind of doing this between sets, you don't have to go very heavy. Just go maybe like 10 or 15 pound dumbbells and go for uh, that full rotation, really twist and hold it at the bottom when your palms are down and you guys are gonna feel a great brachialis pump. This next one is absolutely killer. Shout out to Chris Jones over at Pump Chasers. He actually gave me the idea to do this exercise. So this one right here, First of all, you're putting your traps and your rear delts up against the incline bench is like far back as you can, like literally press against it. And you're putting your biceps basically in a position where they're forced to do all the work. And then the wrist rotation at the end is what really hits the short head of the bicep. So this one, just doing that wrist rotation when you're fatigued, you're going to feel an insane pump right in the short head bicep peak of the muscle. Next up, we got the reverse grip curls with the easy bar and focusing on three to four seconds down on the eccentric portion of the repetition. So reverse grip curls, obviously palms are down. You're going to work more of the brachialis. 
And then also going nice and slow and controlled is a great way to focus even more tension on that brachialis. And obviously you're working, you know, the, the short and long head of the biceps with this, but just palms down is able to give you a lot more emphasis directly on the brachialis. All right, so this next one is something that I actually invented mid-workout and I call it 45 seconds of death and it was killer. So first of all, dead hang, our hands are close grip, so we're going to work the bicep peak. And what you want to do is focus on just time under tension. So I'm kind of like subtly moving the easy bar up and down and there's 100% maximum tension right on the biceps for the entire exercise. So you're never like resting at the top or resting at the bottom of the movement. You're keeping all the tension directly on your biceps and this one is killer. I actually had the, uh, the biggest bicep pump out of all the exercises doing this. So focus on 45 seconds time under tension. Go really light, challenge yourself and if you can get up to it, go for a full minute. All right, so the last exercise is single arm easy bar curls. Now, you're going to hold it right in the center of the easy bar, and obviously the instability of how long the easy bar is puts a lot more tension on the brachialis and the bicep peak, so I'm, I'm kind of tucking in my elbow, so almost simulating a close grip dumbbell curl, but tucking in the elbow, going uh, nice and slow and controlled, and this one is killer. You're going to feel this in your bicep peak. You're going to feel this all over. And it's a great change of pace because I'm sure most of you guys typically do just dumbbell underhand grip bicep work. Alright guys, so super important. We're going to get into some diet hacks for the bicep vein and full vascularity. So step one is one to two gallons of water every single day at the minimum. Now, the more water that you drink, the less water that you're going to retain. And obviously, if you're storing a lot of water underneath your skin, it's going to be nearly impossible to be vascular and get that bicep vein. And a little trick too, if you guys are having trouble with storing a lot of water weight, that's why we actually put dandelion root in alpha shredder. So taking something like dandelion root, which is an alpha shredder, is going to help you guys lose a lot of water weight. Um, high potassium foods is so important just for having full muscle volume. Now, when, you're, when your muscles are really depleted of not only water, but also potassium, you're going to look really flat. So eating high potassium foods daily is a great way to make you look really full. Now, the best potassium foods are going to be uh, like potatoes, baked potatoes, sweet, uh, sweet potatoes, avocados, mushrooms. I'll throw up basically a list of all the best high potassium foods right now on the screen. So just eating three or four of these every single day is going to give you guys a big advantage and make your muscles look a lot more full which is going to push that cephalic vein to the surface. Next up, sodium is actually insanely important once again for making your muscles look full and giving you maximum pump and vascularity in the gym. Now, the best form of sodium is going to be Himalayan pink sea salt. This has all the health benefits. It's going to give you guys an insane pump in the gym if you add it to your food pre-workout. And I like this. The perfect storm is you need enough sodium, but you, you can't have too much. So if you just add natural pink Himalayan salt to your food every single day and avoid as much like added sodium and processed sodium as you can, you guys are going to have the perfect storm. So staying away from things like deli meats, uh, beef jerky, things like added sodium on nuts is going to go a long ways. And then step number four is ZMA amino acids and electrolytes at night, just basically having optimal recovery. So back in the day, I was actually buying like I was buying ZMA, I was buying electrolyte powder, I was buying leucine, I was taking um, glutamine at night, I was taking lysine, I was taking mucina prearins and the nootropics. So I was taking a bunch of stuff. It came out to like $180 a month. So that's actually why I created Alpha Dreams. So I'll, I'll show you guys the supplement facts for Alpha Dreams right now. Alpha Dreams has all of this in uh, maximum dose in one ingredient profile. So if you guys are looking for a quick fix, you guys can simply take Alpha Dreams and you're going to have all your electrolytes, ZMA, amino acids, and minerals at night. I'm going to keep this section short because I'm actually doing a five-part vlog series on creating the perfect pre-workout starting next week. But you want to have vital pre-workout ingredients for those skin tearing pumps. Number one, L-citrulline mallet. You want to have at least 8 grams. This is essentially the nitric oxide precursor, which is going to force more blood and oxygen into your working muscles. Hydromax glycerol. This is so crucial. It's going to give you awesome pumps. 
and it's going to help fill out your muscles and glycerol is a very underrated ingredient that is not in most pre-workouts. Taurine is going to help pull water into the muscles adding to the pump and it's going to really go great with the other two ingredients I just mentioned. And then nitrocygene is a patented complex of arginine silicate and it is actually FDA approved and it's just an incredible product that I think only Cellucor C4 Ultimate has in their current pre-workout. So uh, actually Tiger Fitness has it in their Vasky formula and Cellucor C4 has it in their Ultimate formula, but these are the ingredients that you want for the maximum vascularity. So getting into the last part, and it is ideal body fat percentage for that bicep vein to show. So the good news is you don't have to be super lean to have that bicep vein showing all the time. In fact, if you look at some pictures of me right here, I'm at, I would say, between 9 and 10% body fat right now. But if you're, uh, if you're like me, chances are that your arms lean out much faster than, say, your abdominals and your lower back. So I would say just being around like 10% body fat is more than lean enough to have that bicep vein be prominent pretty much 24 hours a day and especially when you're in the gym and you have a pump. So I would say just, you know, doing things like high intensity interval training. I've done so many fat loss videos in the last couple months, so just reference the channel. In fact, I'll link to my playlist of all my best fat loss content, but doing high intensity interval training, short rest times on compound lifts, just eating clean, eating, you know, just kind of doing carb cycling and different diet strategies is going to go a long way in getting that bicep vein to show. So just wanted to put together a video on the good old bicep vein because I thought this was, I was so fascinated by this topic when I was a kid and I would have loved to watch this video back when I was like 17 or 18 years old. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any interesting video ideas like this. I'm really trying to change up the channel give you guys the most interesting content possible. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have any ideas or questions for me because I actually got some really good questions earlier today that I'm going to make a video about. So I love hearing your guys' questions and feedback. And I appreciate the support so much. We're almost at 40,000. So thank you guys so much for the support. And I will see you guys. I'm going to try to keep the daily uploads coming, by the way. I know we, uh, we had a couple days where we didn't upload. I was traveling back and forth from Colombia. Took a lot out of me. Kind of had shitty internet over there. So we're going to be back to the daily uploads for hopefully the most of the rest of the summer. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Troy. You ain't got no games. You ain't with no weights. <laughs>